we need to be spiritually alert to the use of the word God, both when we speak it and when others do. Because in the world in which we live, people can say God and mean very different things by that term. For instance, people may say, I believe in God, but what they really mean is that they believe in a cosmic consciousness, that they are pantheists, so to speak. A pantheist is a person who believes that at the core of everything, everything is divine. Everything is a part of the God force, as it were. When a person says, I believe in God, they could be referring to Allah, the God of the Muslims. Or a person could mean Jehovah only. In other words, that they practice Judaism and they only believe in the God of the Old Testament. There are many other religions. We have the Baha'i faith, we have Buddhism, we have Hinduism, and lots of other things that we could lump in there so that when people refer to God, they may not be speaking of the God of the Bible, the only God that truly saves. To speak of him is to be speaking of the triune God, the Trinity. So let's talk about that. The God of the Bible is the triune God. He is a trinity. The true God of the Bible is, is one being, but he's revealed in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And the thing that really sets apart the Christian faith is that we know we cannot earn our way to God. We can't climb a ladder to get to God. We don't follow a set of beliefs or a list of things to do to reach God, but that only God could reach us. And he did so by sending his son, 100% God and also 100% human. And the son's name is Jesus. That name Jesus offends so many who don't believe in the true God. Because when we speak of Jesus, we are speaking of the only way that a human being can ever reach God. So when you're having a conversation with someone or you hear them mention the term God or even spirit with a capital S, you need to whittle that conversation down and be sure that they understand Jesus, the only way to the Father.